I do want to talk about the port and the flex stuff. Yes. For the market. Yes. All right. So, what all went into making it work and having the most streamlined option now on the market for yeah. the new gen, gen eights? Yeah. So what's interesting was is Mark Seven stuff is native. You go into the calibration, you fiddle around with things, and you turn it on, and it works. Mark Eight, it's not native. And the interesting part is nowhere on the planet is it native that I could tell. I mean, the Mark Seven, the European cars had it in the cars. And so we could, we could look at files and go, oh, I see. I see the connect and then draw some conclusions and then put it into our American files. And I don't have enough information on other European cars, but as far as I could tell, those cars standard delivered don't come with it. So you had to figure it out. Basically, and it's a new, it's a new ECU from CMOS 19 from CMOS 18, and it's just evolved. So there's, and, this, and the 18 was pretty complicated. When I first got into it, I was like, holy shit, how do I manage this? Because there's all these combustion modes and all these choices, and you can, uh, there's more than just single pulse injection. You know, you can run the DI with two pulse, three pulse, four pulse, and five pulse, like natively. You just call it, and it happens. And all of this, all of the handling, like you don't have to manage it. It's all, it's already built in. It's already built in. It's already built in. One thing we really witnessed on these new Mark 8s and the uh, MQB EVO four-cylinder platform in general is uh, fuel limitations. Uh, you uh, really can't go past too far past the 400 wheel horsepower mark uh, with stock fueling. Uh, we saw an uh, opportunity to develop our in-house brushless fueling kit, our 8Y RS3. A brushless fuel pump kit. It's directly sourced, as the name suggests, from the 8Y Audi RS3. It's an OEM pump uh, utilizing the OEM controller, uh, the OEM level sending unit, and we hand make our harness uh, in-house. It's also completely constructed from OEM components, from the butt connector, the pigtails, uh, the entire material source uh, assortment is uh, all genuine OEM. And uh, we manufactured in-house. It features our uh, proprietary, uh, also in-house designed controller mount made from carbon uh, composite. And uh, it utilizes uh, the cargo Velcro on the backside, which allows you to mount it to various different locations in the rear of the vehicle. And uh, this fueling solution effectively gets rid of the 400 horsepower limitation. enabling you to push well past 600 wheel horsepower now um, as long as uh, you have a big enough turbo to make that power. A big enough turbo to make that power. 